So the big question that everyone's asking is, has there been any progress in colon cancer? Are we any safer? Are we any better protected than we were you know, 25 years ago? And I think the answer is a whole heart is yes. How, how common a problem is this? Colon cancer is going to affect about 143,000 people in the United States this year, even though those numbers are very large. The numbers are actually getting a little bit better. There's been a 3% decline in colon cancer deaths every year for about the last 20 years. There are risk factors. Not everyone is at the same risk. Certainly there's some people who have hereditary colon cancer syndromes. If you've had polyps in the past, you're more likely to get polyps again. Uh, obesity is a risk factor for uh, colon cancer, as well as uh, race and gender. Some people will have symptoms of colon cancer, bleeding. The vast majority of bleeding is not cancer. Sometimes people will bleed or just have low blood counts or have belly pains or a change in their bowel habits. So how do we stage colon cancer? One is when the tumor is entirely confined within the wall of the large intestine. Number two is when it's essentially broken through the wall. Stage three is when there are lymph nodes involved. And stage four is obviously when it is spread to other organs. You can see in this picture further to the left, polyps start on the surface. As the polyp grows up, it develops the potential to grow bigger, to sometimes develop into cancer. This takes time. Developing all these abnormalities takes time. So a normal polyp doesn't go from a cute little polyp and become ugly in a day. It's only after they turn into cancer that they can actually grow deep, deep meaning towards the deeper level or layers of the intestinal wall. This is where we want colon cancers to be because the only known cure for colon cancer is cutting it out. What about tumors that have already grown beyond lymph nodes and have already spread to other organs. Things have changed in the last 20 years. We have far more chemotherapy agents. We've also learned that often giving two medicines or even three medicines at the same time can work better by affecting the tumor in different ways. How do we try to prevent colon cancer with colonoscopy screening? As you know, the average risk patient, we start at age 50. For folks who have a first degree relative meaning a sibling, a parent, who's had cancer earlier than the age of 60, will usually start at age 40 or 10 years earlier. If they had cancer at age 45, they'd start at 35. What the data really tells us is that more people are crossing the finish line, and just in general, more people are staying at risk.